Hi, uh, so welcome to this part of the video. This one could be reasonably lengthy because we're going to go through the sequencer. I wanted to do um, a video on its own, just purely the sequencer, because it's quite a powerful tool, this. And there's quite a few different things that you can cover with it, and it's got some quite cool little features on it. Um, so, me being me, I've kind of made my Uno sound like a 303, because <laughs> if you've watched any of my videos, I make everything sound like a 303. Um, so I've just kind of randomly got this little sequence going in now, so I'll just mess around with the sound a little bit with it. Okay, and so on. Alright, um, so. That's just a random little sequence I've put in. I'm going to mess around with the, with this sound, um, which you'll no doubt be sick of by the end of the video. So we've got three different recording modes for the sequencer. We've got step sequencer, we've got real-time recording, and we've got step edit recording. Uh, so I'll go through each of them separately. So the first one is step recording, which can be a little bit fiddly, but it, this is a good way of getting you to kind of, if you want to be really precise about what you put in, uh, and remember we can record notes and parameters. I think if I remember rightly the Uno has you can have 20 layers or lanes of parameters that you can record. I know such as I think like the mini logs got, is that four or eight? I can't remember but this has got 20. Uh, yeah so it's a lot and that's per step okay per voice per step kind of thing so you've got loads of you can go crazy with this and really go for it. Um, so what I'll do is we'll clear this sequence first of all. So to clear a sequence, we hold down Alt and we just press the down button and it clears the sequence. So to get us into uh, step recording mode, we're just going to press the record button and we'll see up here, we've got these two kind of lines, which means there is nothing on this step. So this is step one. You can see step one is flashing down here. We've got 16 steps. So I'll just like randomly put a few notes in. So we'll just do kind of like put a C on there and then I'll just, I don't know, um, So you just ch choose the step that you want and put a note in. And we've got an amazing sounding <laughs> thing like that. Yeah, great, isn't it? Right? Uh, all right, all right. I suppose that's not too bad. It could be worse. Um, Okay, so, um, obviously if you want to go in and change the octaves, so let's say I want this note to be an octave up, all I would do is just go until that's selected. You can see I'm pressing the up and down buttons here, that's going to scroll you across your steps. Select that one, um, and we just go on to the octave, and take that up one, to C3. Okay, and that's going to take us up an octave. Now the default setting, we can change the note length as well. So the default setting is uh, half a step, kind of it's on 0.5. So let's say this note, I want to be longer. We go back into step recording mode. We'll select that one. If we press hold, you can see it's on 0.5. So if I put that up to one, let's see what that sounds like. So it's slightly longer. So this is a good way of kind of getting glides to go between uh, the different um, notes. So let's choose that one again. Uh, we'll make that one a bit longer. So let's take it up to our note three. See what it sounds like. So you can see that's now kind of gliding into that one. If we put the... Let's put that up another octave. Just so we can really hear it going in uh, up to there. Now we're not quite picking that up. So we probably need to make that note a little bit shorter. Uh, so let's take that down. Two. Okay, you don't seem to be able to kind of do this sort of on the fly as you're doing it. You've got to stop it, which is a little bit annoying because it's a little bit trial and error, but hey ho. Okay, uh, what I'll do is just make that note a little bit longer there on that higher one. Okay, that's fine. You know, it's just a case of experimenting with it to get the sound. 
uh, that you want. So yeah, so, so we've got 16, um, 16 steps. It would be nice if you could sort of chain them together to make longer ones. Um, but you, you can kind of do it manually uh, between the two, but it's a bit of a faff. Yeah, I mean, in terms of note length, you can go from 0 0.5 up to 8. So let's just make one of these really long. Let's make that one long. Uh, so if we make that as long as it can go, it's going to kind of... But you can see the length of it now. It's going to sort of blank out all these notes. But it's still kind of gliding up quite nice that one. So, if, you know, it's a bit of trial and error getting your experimentation going. All right. Um, so we can record parameter changes as well. Uh, and for this, we're basically going to do it, obviously, on a, a per-step basis because we're in step recording mode. So let's say on this step, I want the filter to be fully open. And then on this step, we'll turn it down a bit. And on this step, we'll turn the resonance down. We'll just see what happens. Okay, so you can pick all your different uh, things. And you're not just, it's not just filter and cutoff. I mean, we could change, let's say, the tuning. So if we go back into step record mode and let's say, I don't know, this note, I want that to be up an octave. And then that one, say, down an octave. Okay, so you can get some, some kind of weird, weird results. Um, with that one thing to bear in mind and this is something i do quite a lot is i would if you get stuff you like make sure you get into the habit of saving it uh because it's very easy when you've come out of um and particularly on real-time recording if you just if you're not in record mode and you do one of the your up and down keys so if i just press this by mistake right that's taking me on to 23 preset okay if i go back to 22 that was on before i've lost everything that i did right it's back to that original one so bear in mind it is easy to stuff up your sequences uh so yes keep saving them it's a little bit of a, a bit of a niggle that one is for me but uh you know you've got to get used to not doing it um but yes i have lost quite a lot of mine doing that mistake but anyway right let's clear this one again and we'll do we'll have a look at real-time recording so for this one we can choose whether they have a metronome on or off uh so if we press alt uh, we can choose different one, different settings over here. So the default one, I think, is the uh, the metronome. So at the moment, it's off. So if we just do that to turn it on, we basically the metronome just sounds while we're recording. You can see that it's now lit orange to show us that we will get the metronome. Um, so when we are um, when we're recording uh, with notes, it will just basically keep on looping. Slightly different with parameters, which I will um, show you in a second. So to go into um, real-time recording, all we're going to do is press um, record and then play. You can hear the metronome going, and then whatever you play will be recorded. So I'll put some random notes in. And then whatever you over play over the top is going to overdub. So we've just recorded that pattern in. Very straightforward. It kind of quantizes it all up. So it, it's pretty good actually on the quantizing um, basis. So if you want to record parameter changes, now this is where you've got to be careful on this, right? And I'll show you in a second. We do the same thing, but whereas when you were recording notes, it loops. If we do a parameter, hold on, stop it a second. It will come out of record mode after one loop through so to kind of stop you over overdubbing too much and kind of making weird stuff happening so if i just show you watch this if i turn the cut off okay so you can see when it gets back to the beginning it's now just gone into play mode but it's recorded that parameter go back into record mode we'll do something with the resonance perhaps. Go on to the tune. Okay, so it's the easy thing to go wrong with this is you think you're still in record mode and you might think, well, I want to change an octave or another parameter, and you hit your up and down button and you're going to lose everything. So, 
watch out for that. It's uh, yeah, it's it's a pain that one. So I mean, real time recording is fairly straightforward. Um, you've got that. So just bear in mind those two bits. And like I say, you can keep looping over and over the uh, the stuff that you overdub or the parameter changes. I mean, even to the extent of changing your waveforms during the, uh, the sequence. So. Okay, you just got to remember before you do another parameter, just hit record again. Um, what else can we do? Let's bring the noise in. Okay, so fairly straightforward. Uh, I'm just going to... Um, get rid of that one uh, I was gonna go back into that so you can see if I just press that and go back into here it's, it's lost it straight away one thing I didn't do one thing on step recording was just um, on editing or deleting a, a step so uh, let's say I want to delete this one I'd go into step record mode by pressing record select that one and then you just press alt and down and it will delete that step and any of the, the parameters in it as well there doesn't seem to be a way as if I've recorded a parameter change on there, there doesn't seem to be a way of deleting just the parameters. You've got to delete the whole step and then probably put the note back in, um, which is, again, a little bit of a pain, but it's not not the end of the world if that happens. And then the last one, which is step edit recording. This is quite cool. This is really just sort of for recording just parameter changes and then it, it kind of disables the keyboard and then you can play notes over the top and have the parameters change those notes. Um, so let's clear this so to go in to um, step edit record we're going to hold down alt and press the metronome and we're now into step edit record and all you do for this one you don't need to scroll through with here all you do is hold down one of the white keys for the step and do whatever parameter you want on it so let's say we're going to start with step one and we'll have a filter fully open um, step two we'll also have it fully open but then step three and four we'll have it completely off and then I'm just going to go through at random, putting different things in. Okay, so we basically all we've done now is we've recorded those parameters. So if I press play, it's not we're not going to hear anything because we've not um, we've not put any notes in there. But if I just hold down a note, okay, those parameters are going to affect that note. And quite a cool thing with this is I could put in say on uh let's say step five we could like bring in the noise to full if we did that there and then uh step whatever that is step 13 let's do the same thing we can kind of almost have like a um uh, got to make sure that the filter is open on those and that one it'll give us a kind of snare drum sort of <laughs> Okay, so we've basically got like a snare drum kind of beat on two beat four just by holding those down and then Okay, which is pretty cool. Same way if you want to delete any of the uh, if we're in those so if you want to delete any of the parameters you just hold the the, uh, the step down and just press the down button you can see it clears it. Okay, so yeah, with that step edit recording, uh, it's quite cool. You can get some quite quite nice effects with that. And you can, like I say, you can record the parameter changes for anything. Any of these, any of the LFO, any of the envelope settings, they are all up for grabs for recording, um, you know, tuning different oscillators and so on. So a lot of it's just really down to using your imagination at the end of the day as to what you can do with it. And the last thing we can do is, I think I may have touched on this briefly in kind of my overview uh, videos, but we can change, we've got three different playback modes. So if we're in sequence mode, I've just gone back to the um, the original sequence from this patch. So we can play it forwards. We can play it backwards. Let's see, just go that way first. So that's, uh, or reversed as it calls it. Go that way. Or we can play it backwards and forwards. So it'll kind of go that way and then, so one forwards and one backwards. Okay, 
Okay, which can you know give you some nice variations on your patterns. Uh, if we just go back into normal forwards mode, and we also have the range, so we can reduce the number of steps that we have. So from sixteen right down to one, which you could use as obviously if you want a shorter thing, or even like as an effect thing while you're playing live. <laughs> Kind of like weird if you want like polyrhythms going of you know this kind of doing seven steps and something else doing nine steps so they kind of interact with each other differently you can do that um with that uh the uh the range on the steps of your sequence um so i think the sequence is quite a powerful little tool on this and it's uh quite a cool thing just watch out that you you save your things before you lose them all so uh that's pretty much it i think for this one uh, there's going to be one more video coming up in this series where I will look at the uh, the synth editor thing in more detail or in a lot of detail, not in more detail because we've not looked at it all yet, but in, in great detail. Uh, so that's coming up next and then stay tuned for a similar series on the Uno drum and I'll try and do some like sound design things as well on here and then I'll share the patches round which you can get if you subscribe to my Patreon. There is a link to that in the description. There'll also be a card pop up on the screen. And there's also, a, I think, a link to it in the header on my YouTube channel. Um, where you can subscribe to that and get loads of free stuff. Patches and lots of stuff. Just have a look and see if you want to do it. So, usual things. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, share the videos around. Check my music out and all that nonsense. And I'll see you in the next part. Cheers. <laughs>